A few years ago, a group of Arabs collected all information concerning embryology from the Qur'an and followed the instruction of the Qur'an which states, If you realize this not, ask of those who possess the message. Al-Qur'an, chapter 16, verse 43, and chapter 21, verse 7. All of the information from the Qur'an so gathered was translated into English and presented to Professor Keith Moore, who was a professor of embryology and chairman of the Department of Anatomy at the University of Toronto. At that time, he was one of the highest authorities in the field of embryology. He was asked to give his opinion regarding the information present in the Qur'an concerning the field of embryology. After carefully examining the translation of the Qur'anic verses presented to him, Dr. Moore said that most of the information concerning embryology mentioned in the Qur'an is in perfect conformity with modern discoveries in the field of embryology and does not conflict with them in any way. He added that there were, however, a few verses on whose scientific accuracy he could not comment. He could not say whether the statements were true or false, since he himself was not aware of the information contained therein. There was also no mention of this information in modern writings and studies on embryology. One such verse is, Proclaim, or read, in the name of thy Lord and Cherisher, who created, created man out of a mere clot of congealed blood. Al-Qur'an, chapter 96, verses 1-2. through two. The word alaq, besides meaning a congealed clot of blood, also means something that clings, or a leech-like substance. Dr. Keith Moore had no knowledge whether an embryo in the initial stages appears like a leech. To check this out, he studied the initial stage of the embryo under a very powerful microscope in his lab and compared what he observed with the diagram of a leech, and he was astonished at the striking resemblance between the two. In the same manner, he acquired more information on embryology that was hitherto not known to him from the Qur'an. Dr. Keith Moore answered about 80 questions dealing with embryological data mentioned in the Qur'an and Hadith. Noting that the information contained in the Qur'an and Hadith was in full agreement with the latest discoveries in the field of embryology, Professor Moore said, If I was asked these questions 30 years ago, I would not have been able to answer half of them for lack of scientific information. Dr. Keith Moore had earlier authored the book, The Developing Human. After acquiring new knowledge from the Qur'an, he wrote in 1982 the third edition of the same book, The Developing Human. The book was the recipient of an award for the best medical book written by a single author. This book has been translated into several major languages of the world and is used as a textbook of embryology in the first year of medical studies. In 1981, during the 7th Medical Conference in Dammam, Saudi Arabia, Dr. Moore said, It has been a great pleasure for me to help clarify statements in the Qur'an about human development. It is clear to me that these statements must have come to Muhammad from God or Allah, because almost all of this knowledge was not discovered until many centuries later. This proves to me that Muhammad must have been a messenger of Allah.